Hey everybody, um, basically some of you want to know exactly what DBS is and how it helps turrets. Um, they do DBS a lot for Parkinson's and dystonia and other movement disorders like essential, essential tremor. And I want to say recently because it's been quite a while, they started experimenting with DBS for Tourette's syndrome. And <clears throat> there have been a lot of people that um, <clears throat> that have gotten it and have had an immense amount of success. And I believe it started in Australia. <clears throat> Somebody decided they were going to do it. Um, <clears throat> what I've noticed, the people that get it done in Australia don't tend to have as well success as those that get it done in USA. <clears throat> now, why is this? Um, <clears throat> basically... <clears throat> They people that people over in Australia and in other parts of the world as well, they believe that targeting the GPI is the best spot for Tourette syndrome, and uh, I really don't think it is. Um, I've seen <clears throat> I've seen tremendous amount of success in the thalamus, and that is where mine are placed. <clears throat> um, basically, what DBS does is. <clears throat> through the surgery, they put <clears throat> two. Well, for me, it was a two-day surgery. They put two probes down your brain, <clears throat> so they cut it. You know, they cut you open, drill two little holes in your skull, <clears throat> then they really they use a really precise uh, device. I'm not sure what exactly it is, <clears throat> but they place two thin probes. I mean, the probes are very thin. <clears throat> I'd say about the size of spaghetti, as thick as spaghetti, um, <clears throat> and the probes go down. Now they, now obviously where I got mine done and what they usually do in U.S. is they put it in the thalamus. So mine is in the mid thalamus, and <clears throat> and basically that was the first day. And the second day, they put the battery packs in my chest. Now, like from the side, they they pop out a bit. You can tell, but other than that, they're pretty well disguised. <clears throat> um. But yeah, the uh, <clears throat> the battery packs <clears throat> are what will give the electricity, and then they wired it. Uh, where are my staples? Oh, right here. <clears throat> they they put they put the wires in and connected it through this part and connected it here. <clears throat> and the wires run down my neck. You can see them when I turn my head. I'm not sure if you can in this camera, but they run down my neck to the uh, batteries. <clears throat> Now basically, mine aren't turned on yet, but my ticks are still doing really well. Now why is that, you might wonder, is because, as my doctor described it, <coughs> the probes going in my brain damaged the brain, and that was like partial stimulation. So it's basically stimulating my brain. Um, but now that I'm starting to heal, my ticks are starting to come back more. So... <clears throat> That's why I'm starting to tick more than I was, say, a week ago when I first had it done. <clears throat> um, but basically, how this works is the battery packs run up the wires <clears throat> and into the probes, and they stimulate it. Now, the batteries make <clears throat> an electric current, and the current is what runs up and feeds. It, it stimulates <clears throat> the thalamus, the mid-thalamus, in my case, and... <clears throat> It stimulates that, and in turn causing um, less ticks. <clears throat> and um, I'm getting mine turned on tomorrow. I am beyond excited because I've been waiting for this day for so long. I don't think I've ever been <clears throat> been relaxed for once in my life. Um, <clears throat> even though my ticks <clears throat> were very mild when I was younger. I, I can't recall a time where I was really ever sitting and felt relaxed. <clears throat> um, I always had to move around. I always had to do something. So, <clears throat> yeah, this is pretty exciting. <clears throat> um, yeah, so basically, they do it a lot in people with Parkinson's and dystonia. <clears throat> and when I'm, they target different spots of the brain for those disorders and they also use it for OCD which is a different spot of the brain <clears throat> and uh, yeah targeting it <clears throat> really seems to 
make a big difference in people's lives, and I'm really, really excited to get my life back. So, it'll be awesome. For the, the, the least I can say. And those little dots there, they have, um, that's where they put, they put a halo around your head. And, um, they screw it into your skull, sort of. I mean, they don't go through the skull, but they just, like, screw it into the skull. So, you cannot move your head at all. And I was put out for the surgery. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't be left awake for it. But yeah, basically that's what DBS is and how it works. If you have any other questions, please feel free to comment because I have been pretty, pretty bored and pretty, uh, I don't know, just bored. <laughs> because waiting for, waiting to get turned on and, um, and then I still have to wait another few weeks before I can start doing things again. <laughs> I can't lift five pounds for six weeks after surgery, which kind of stinks. But yeah, basically, that's DBS. So if you have any other questions, just let me know.